should come and take a ride See the world through my eyes Every day is a surprise So I party like my birthday LA is my birthplace First place west side Loud as I wanna be Okay, I'm sick Whenever I'm sick I eat usually halls And they're so good They, they just taste incredible You eat a whole pack of these it's like 300 calories. When I was cutting, I was like, are you serious? <laughs> so usually I uh, go Fisherman's Friend now. I don't know if they're any worse, let's find out. So, as I'm sick, I'm not gonna be working out today. If you guys wanna know if you should work out when you're sick, check out this video. That was really helpful. I learned a lot from actually making that video. And it's that kind of season. Fisherman's Friend Cherry. One lozenge is three calories. Now, let's compare this to Halls. 207 calories, 66 grams of sugar. <laughs> it's because you misstepped. It's because you slowed down right before. Man down. Uh, my ankles are sore. Why do we do this random crap every day? I don't know. But hey, on the positive note, we're going to get some free Nando's. <laughs> we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to give them a breakdown of that. Yeah, we'll talk to you guys about that in a sec. In a minute, yeah. Yo, you being balking, bro? bro? Grow, baby, grow. <laughs> Good things keep interrupting us, so. So if you guys saw our video last time, free food for vlogging, we came to this Nando's location. This is the Bay Street location in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. That's where we're from. It's an amazing place. We had a really good experience. The manager said, hey, you're vlogging, we appreciate that. Gave us a free meal. Yesterday he emailed us, he saw our video, he saw all your amazing comments, and he's like, I'm gonna issue you guys a challenge. Let's see how much gains you can make during your grow series, how much you can bulk, how good you can look while eating Nando's amazing food. Nando's is known for having amazing macros, a bunch of traditional things like chicken, your mashed potatoes, your peas, and it's just cooked to perfection. So this is something I'm so excited for, we obviously said yes. So it's like a Nano sponsorship of sorts, and our boy just hooked us up. We're gonna see what he, uh, he's ordering for us, and we're just amped to do this every day. So if you guys want, uh, we'll leave like the Google location or the Yelp review. If you want to leave a review or if you're in Toronto, come in here because the whole crew here is amazing. Everyone we're meeting, this is going to be an amazing month. <laughs> you said amazing 50 times, but it, it, is, it is amazing. Hey, Thank thanks, you. man. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, um, we're going to get these two jack guys, <laughs> two half chickens today. The Perry Perry Nando's chicken at the Bay Street location. Um, we're gonna get them some sweet potatoes, some mashed potatoes, and some casa salt and see how they like it, and they'll tell you. All right, so we're talking 1,080 calories. We're going Nando's half chicken, uh, garlic mashed potatoes, sweet potato mash. I'm assuming that we're getting the regular size sides. I'm not sure. But that's what I'd go for. And uh, overall, the macros here, as you can see on the screen, 77 protein, 80 carbs, 46 fat. So that's a pretty, pretty darn good meal there. It's a really healthy meal. We're getting a little bit of everything. Um, we're also getting a big salad, which I vlogged. So I don't know which one it is, but we're getting a really hefty amount of protein, decent amount of healthy fats. And we're just so fired up. This is like crazy exciting. Oh. Oh wow. Look at that. Look at this. First thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Oh my gosh, just look at it. Sweet potato, friggin' chicken. What do you what do you got? This looks amazing. Every day is freaking Thanksgiving. My goodness. Okay, so we made the mistake of not trying the chicken directly last time. I wanted to, but Kyle wasn't having it, and we went with pita, whatever. But everyone goes crazy about how good the chicken is here and the sauce, so it's gonna be our first time ever trying it. Uh, Kyle, you wanna do the honor, pal? My good, dude, try it, try it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like a food 
aftertaste person, but small and savory. Oh my goodness, yeah, you can taste the herbs, it's so savory. Yeah. That is, well, I'm looking forward to eating this chicken every day. This is like <laughs> my meal prep chicken that's dried out and I don't even know what it is. I'm just putting charcoal in my mouth, like, even because <laughs> it's so dry, but this is, this is chicken. someone to say if I don't like something, to be pretty honest, and this is just incredible. Like, I can't even boost it up. I now understand, like, my girlfriend's family always buys Nando sauce. I've never tried it to this day, but I'm gonna have to pick some of that up. Yeah. Even just to season your own chicken, like, wow. Delicious, dude. Okay, so first meal was mwah. That's all I have to say. The Nando seasoning and the way they cook the chicken is just to perfection. That is the best sweet potato I've ever had. I'm not even a fan of sweet potatoes, I'm not gonna lie, but I, I would easily order another sweet potato right now. So overall, it was a ton of fun. Um, we're not really sure how to structure this. We're still emailing Brian, but uh, what do you guys think would make this really fun over the next month? What should we do? Like, should we try to do a challenge within it? Is there a certain way we should structure it? You guys have great ideas, and I'd love to hear what you think down below. Uh, past that, like, I guess we're just gonna dive into um, what what's going on stat-wise and where we're at and what we want to accomplish with this. So if you guys remember, this is where we were at. This was the peak for the the trough, I guess, of our deficit at cutting, and this is how we look here. Hop in the red, and I bought it this lady again. Slide up in the tropic and lady again. All of my partners is popping, you know that we lit it again. All of the fours on college, you know that we lit it again. They don't wanna see the squad, they don't wanna see the rain. They don't wanna see a bitch up in the stars like she going out of space. Lit it again, lit it again, I got it, we lit it again. So uh, you guys saw us, we were really nice and shredded. Uh, we have no competition plans at all right now. But over this next month, we're gonna try to build a solid physique, look really good. So with the Nandos, we're gonna make sure we're training hard, we're gonna try to gain about a pound a week, and we're just gonna crush it. It's a ton of good fuel, getting all our micros in, all of our macros are gonna fit beautifully with those meals. So uh, it's just time to crush it, and thanks again to Nandos, and we're especially the location we're at, which is the Bay and College location. So uh, I guess we'll just, you guys can chill with us now, see what we do. I'm no uh, Bartista, barista, Bartista, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but when I ordered my coffee from Starbucks, I got a little bit of light whipped cream on here, Christmas blend, uh, you gotta be festive. So then at this point, you should get lactose free milk, but I'm lazy today. You get the milk poured on top. Now this is very weird because it's not going to properly blend in, but when you start, you get a nice kind of dissolved light whipped cream taste with some milk. And it just tastes amazing. It's like candy, but you're drinking coffee, and then you get to the grittier, kind of darker part of the coffee, and it's like you're going down to black. Try it. The cool thing is you can drink it right away too, but that's good. Is that a good idea? That's uh... It's gotta be a hundred feet in some. It's nuts, man. I don't know how anybody put that up. <laughs> what the actual heck? Look. All the way down. See how small those people are. Put in perspective. One escalator. There's another one to get up here. So one, two, three. Four floors. And then we keep going up. All right, let's go, Rocky. What are we about to do? Uh, walk through the city, explore again, and then uh, finally pick up a, at least a temporary microphone. It's gonna be a fluffy one, I'm pumped. Grow, baby, grow! You're on that bulk mode, eh? Guess where we went again? We got our microphone, finally! Oh yeah, here it is. That little guy. It's funky. 
quick tip guys, I was chilling in Starbucks this morning, I met a guy named Marcus and he was talking to me about doing stuff that you love and really pursuing a career that you're passionate about. So he was talking about three different jobs um, and what they really mean to you. So number one, the ideal job is doing something you love. If that's not something you get, number two best thing would be to do something you hate. Um, and I think this is very important because it's going to push you to go 100% to really work into getting that job that you love. And number three stage, this is the absolute worst thing, is to do what you're comfortable with. Um, something that's very complacent, stagnant, and where you just feel comfortable. Where you kind of look back like 10 years and be like, where did all my time go? And the only reason you stuck there is because it was your comfort zone. So our take home is, if you guys are comfortable, try to make yourself uncomfortable. Get to a position, find out what you want to do. Don't just accept average and whatever you're doing and accept that as the ends all meets all. Just find a way to push yourself, to get uncomfortable and force yourself into a better situation. Thank you.